What's up everybody? Laracon US 2023 is this week. Let's talk about some of the new tech being released at the conference. Let's dig right in. Taylor in a recent tweet talked about some of the new things that are coming to Laravel. First up is the Laravel 11 skeleton app. He's expected to show us what you know, it might look like when it's released. And so it's gonna be kind of interesting to see what uh, direction that the framework is going. Next up is Laravel Folio. Now Laravel Folio was first talked about at Laracon India earlier. And this is basically gonna be a page-based routing type of app. So think um, Next.js. And what this means is when you put a file in a specific directory, it's going to build your routes for you based on kind of what you've got in your directory. Next up is Laravel Vault. Now this is going to be single file live wire components. This is going to be awesome. I think a lot of people are really going to like this and I'm curious to see kind of what people build you know, using these single file components and if it really adds to developer experience. Laravel Volt was also debuted or talked about at Laracon India. So I think you know it's going to be awesome because it's finally going to be released and people can get their hands on it and start messing with it. Now there's a couple huge releases that are gonna be happening and that is Livewire 3 is going to be released. Kind of some key takeaways that we're probably going to get are Livewire 3 has been, the core has been rewritten. You can write JavaScript in your PHP classes using a special syntax. You're gonna have hot reloading, so that means your page is going to automatically refresh, um, you know, instead of having to refresh manually when you make changes. And there's gonna be a whole bunch more for Livewire 3, and we can make a complete, you know, video on this topic by itself, but, you know, it's, it's gonna be awesome, and, uh, you know, I'm really looking forward to, again, what people are building with it. Next up, another huge release is going to be filament three. Now this is going to be built on top of Livewire. And this is uh, previously was only for admin dashboards. So if you were kind of like administering an app, you'd build something, use filament, um, a dashboard to kind of manage the data and do kind of other things. But one of the new features of filament three is going to be, you know, building different types of dashboards for different types of users. So if you're an admin for an app, you know, your dashboard might look different than if you're just a regular customer of this particular app. And so the super awesome thing about filament is that a lot of this is low code in order to make these types of things happen. This is going to be super awesome. I think a lot of people have been looking for this because they've been kind of making filament um, do things that potentially, you know, it wasn't built for previously by making that admin dashboard, um, you know, customer facing. Another awesome feature that's coming to Filament is the ability to kind of like package up almost like an app-like thing, an app module, and then kind of bundle it up and allow people to download it and then put it in their application. So think like a CMS or form um, that's built in Filament that's packaged as a module that you can then import into your project. Now, the most unique, I think, tech that's going to be released here is native PHP. Now, this is going to allow people to build desktop apps using PHP. This is going to be awesome. You know, people are gonna build all different kinds of crazy things and I'm looking to see how far people can actually push this. You'll be able to do a lot of typical things that you, that you would do if you're building a desktop app. Stuff like window management, cross window communication, menu apps, handling settings, and bundle the app. And there's a whole lot more and I'm sure we could create just a whole video on just the native PHP. This is going to be uh, super awesome. Now two things I wanna talk about that we don't know much about and I wanna hear you know, in the comments if people have any speculation as to what these are gonna be. And that is Laravel Herd and Laravel Prompts. Now, when you hear prompts, you might think AI. Taylor has already said on Twitter that Laravel prompts is not AI related. Whether he's just trying to throw us off, you know, I'm not really sure, but um, you know, I'm curious to hear what people think. You know, these things might be, um, you know, because we don't really know much about them at at this time. You know, Taylor likes to kind of tease us with different things, and that's kind of the roundup of what the new tech that we're going to hear and kind of see and be released uh, at Laracon US 2023. I would love to hear about any speculation or thoughts that you might have. 
drop a comment, uh, like, and subscribe to help my channel. I would really appreciate it. 